today's video is about a... <laughs> I just hit my elbow. Okay, so today's video is about a portion of Cornwall, Connecticut known as Dudley Town. Well, let me go ahead and pre-state that for anyone who is thinking about going to this place, don't. Danger isn't necessarily just the entities such that lurk around Dudley, as much as it is the fact that you will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. So, not really worth the thrills, you know? Dudley Town was originally settled by a man named Thomas Griffiths in the 1740s. Dudley Town is surrounded by a bunch of mountains, and these mountains cast shadows, and all. Specifically, Dudley Town is located in an area also known as the Dark Entry Forest. Now, the reason that Dudley Town originally got its name was because amongst... Hey guys, so I was editing this, and basically what I meant to say was that Thomas Griffiths was the first one there, and then later the other Dudleys would follow a couple years after. Thomas Griffiths, some of the other people who would join him would be Gideon Dudley, Abel Gurdy, Barzillai Dudley, Barzillai Dudley, Martin Dudley. There was just a lot of Dudleys there, so it made sense. This place also had a very small amount of people actually there in the first place, fewer than a hundred. Today, all that really remains of Dudley Town is ruins. A really interesting thing here is you gotta consider the low population of this place. There is such a high number of reported cases of people literally going insane, killing themselves, reports of seeing these strange creatures out in the woods or just around so many cases for so few people even to this day the cause of all this misfortune is said to be because of a curse it's said that the descendants of a one edmund dudley which the founders are said to be related to is the cause via a curse that was set upon him actually edmund dudley was a man whom during the rule of king henry the eighth was executed. Pretty much as soon as his dad kicked the bucket, he decided to say, well, you know, which to be fair, Edmund Dudley was not necessarily in the favors at that time, and whether or not he would choose to believe he had done wrong, rather than just him following the orders of Henry VIII's father before him, is debated. Either way, he lost his head, and it's said that the Dudleys of later times have a curse, a generational curse, that have been placed upon them and is the reason for all the misfortunes and things that happen. Now, the problem with this theory is that tracing the lineage of the Dudleys of that area apparently does not lead back to Edmund Dudley, Sir Edmund Dudley. Sir <laughs> Edmund Dudley. But either way, curse or no curse, there has to be something for the amount of reports and such that go on there. Now, in 1792, Gershon Hollister was helping to build a barn at the home of Tanner Williams. Tragically, Gershon would die while helping build it. However, some of the things that Gershon had said towards the end of his life, granted he was about 104 years old, so you take your picks here on whether or not this is more so attributed to the actual stuff as much as to his age, but he did report seeing lots of strange creatures around. Another interesting one is a man known by General Herman Smith. Actually, he served underneath George Washington during the Revolutionary War. Now, granted, this was not directly in Dudley Town, but closer to. In 1804, his wife was outside, standing on the porch, as one does, and was hit by lightning. She died. The general, as one would imagine, 
was said to have went insane after this. Died soon after. After the Civil War, the actual people who were living in Dudley Town started to kind of dissipate, which, to be honest, is not the most surprising thing. Considering Dudley Town, you know, it already had a very small population. It was in between these two mountains, and it was just... They didn't have a shop or anything there. The most that they had was pretty good timber, which took forever to even bring elsewhere to sell. Ultimately... It's no surprise. It's no surprise. Whether or not they're... Whether or not with the ghost... Demononic. <laughs> demononic. What? <laughs> or demonic activity. Either way, it's kind of... It's just not surprising, okay? Now, if you think that's where this story ends... Not quite. By the early 1900s, one of the last residents of Dudley Town... A man named John Patrick Brophy tragically lost his wife. Granted, it wasn't really all that sudden. She had tuberculosis, known as consumption in those days. And they were kind of expecting it for a while, but still, it was a lot for, lot for him, you know. When they went to the funeral, his two children walked off into the woods and were never seen again vanished to make matters even worse it wasn't long after this that his house burned down and he himself would vanish into the woods never to be seen again also in the early 1900s a man by the name of dr william clark he was looking for a place to get back to his roots you know he had grown up on a farm when he came out here, honestly, he just thought it was beautiful. He loved it. And his wife, Harriet Bank Clark, also loved it. So, why not? So they decided they would just build a second house out there. They'd stay there mostly for holidays, weekends, things like that. So far, so good, you know? And one day when they were at their wonderful little getaway house in the forest... He was called away on an emergency, so obviously he left, and about 36 hours later, he'd return. Unfortunately, when he returned, he'd find that his wife had completely lost it. She was talking about these strange creatures in the forest that were literally harassing her, and honestly, same as a lot of the other stories about this she'd end up killing herself so honestly the dark entry forest seems like quite an interesting place and while there's more that i could talk about and go into here whether or not it's actually a curse and even if it's not necessarily a curse to do with edmund himself there's something. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment. If you'd like to see more videos, stay tuned, subscribe. What are you doing? Yeah. See you guys next time.